Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the NASB 2020 Thin Line Bible from Zondervan. Okay, so Zondervan has just released their first Bibles in the NASB 2020. Now, if you're not familiar with that, if you don't know what I meant by that, the NASB, the New American Standard Bible, at the end of 2020, the Lachman Foundation, who's the publisher for the NASB, released an update. They did an update to their translation, and they call it the 2020 because the last time they did this was in 1995. And so they had the 1977, the 1995, and now the 2020. There's been a few, there's a lot of videos online. I'll put some, I'll put some links in the description because I'm not really going to talk very much about the, the changes in the translation in this video. I'm going to talk about this Bible, but uh, my friend Tim Frisch has talked a lot on his channel about the NASB 2020, so I'll put some links to some videos where he's talked about the differences between it and the 95. Um, there's a really great video from R. Grant Jones where he reviews one of the Lockman uh, in ASB 2020 Bibles, and he kind of does a deep dive. He's really great if you want to look at that translation uh, continuum, the spectrum. He does a lot of really great um, analytical information about translation. So I'll put a link to that video as well. But but suffice it to say that it's it's an update to the 95 that the Lockman Foundation did. It's got some of the things you probably hear talked about, like a dialogue about gender accuracy and things like that. And they have a, a they have a note in the beginning of this Bible about the things that they've changed and that they've updated. In this edition of the New American Standard Bible, um, I, I think it's I, I, for me my 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 initial takeaway of it as I read through this is it sounds like the New American Standard Bible. If you're familiar with the NASB, this is going to feel very similar to that. There's just a few places where they have tweaked things here and there in a few different key ways, but overall, I think it feels very familiar, very similar to what you know of the NASB, whether you've been reading it from the 95, probably more like the 95 than the 77 because they changed the these and the thous and stuff like that. But Zondervan does a lot of publishing of New American Standard Bibles, and so this is the first one they've done. They did this one, which is the thin line. They also did a, a large print thin line, which is a little bit bigger than this. And I, have, I believe that they have more uh, 2020 NASB Bibles coming out in the future. One of the things about the NASB is that they still keep in print the older iterations. So you can still buy 95s and 77s, whereas somebody like Crossway, the 2016 is the most recent update to the ESV, and they don't keep printing Bibles in the 2011 or the 2007. They just go with their new most recent update to the translation. So anyway, this is Zondervan's first try, first uh, edition of the 2020 for the NASB. Pretty simple, not nothing flashy. This is not a premier collection Bible. It's just a pretty middle of the road, thin line Bible. What I've said this before on my channel, these thin lines are kind of what I think about with, with, with and I think about just an on the go, easy to carry, simple Bible. Um, looks great, feels great. So I'm gonna run you through this, show you all the different specs on it, and I'll give you some links uh, to where you can purchase one of these and check them out. As always, my goal is to help you find a Bible that's right for you. So if you're an NASB fan or if you're interested in the 2020 NASB, these are some affordable new Bibles from Zondervan that are worth considering when it comes to that. So yeah, let's take a closer look. This is the NASB 2020 Thin Line from Zondervan. Okay, first things first, here's a look at the box. Really sharp, clamshell, two-piece box. It's very glossy. It looks nice. You've got all the information there on the outside about the features and all that stuff. This one looks really great. And here's the Bible itself. This is the black leather soft edition. This, this Bible, the thin line, comes in black or teal. And they also have a slightly bigger version that's the large print thin line that comes in black or burgundy. Those are the first four that they've released. But really nice. It's kind of smooth texture. There you see some of the texture. It's very, very smooth to the touch. Kind of shiny, but really nice. They did this sewn in design here and then they matched it with the perimeter stitching. So there's white perimeter stitching all the way around. You do get two thin ribbons, a black one and a gray one on this guy. Really sharp. I like the spine. It's very round and it's kind of got this debossed. It's black on black so they don't have any uh, color in there. So it says New American Standard Bible, Holy Bible, and then the NASB and Zondervan logos down there. Really sharp. It does have some light uh, silver page gilding there. Looks nice. I mean, overall, it's just a, a really solid, simple, straightforward. It's not too fancy, but it's a, it's a good, solid Bible. As far as size goes on this one, you're looking at five and a quarter inches wide by eight and a half inches tall. 
and it's right at an inch thick with the cover. So the text block's probably a little less than an inch thick. Now, if you get the large print edition, it's gonna be about an inch wider and an inch taller and just a little bit thicker. I think it's six and a half by nine and a half, where again, this one's five and a quarter by eight and a half. So opening this up, you have the present, so it's paste down liner and the presentation page there right when you get started. Get into the inside, you get a couple title pages where you see it does say the 2020 text. Here is your copyright page, NASB Thinline Bible 2020 text. All the information about this and the Lockman Foundation printed in China in 2021. You have the table of contents right there. You've got the alphabetical order of the books of the Bible. The foreword from the team at the Lockman Foundation about their, their aim here for the New American Standard Bible. The preface for the 2020 where they've given some information about what they did with gender accuracy, what they did with the word brethren, um, or how they changed let us to let's, things like that. Alternative, alternate readings um, with the Hebrew and the Greek text that they used, all that sort of stuff. This is good if you're interested in the changes they made to read that. The general format. One of the reasons I love the NASB is because of the way it lays everything out. So for example, they use italics for words that are not in the original languages. They use asterisks for uh, presents that they've made into past tense as far as the verbs go. They use small caps in the New Testament when they're doing direct quotations of the Old Testament. I think that's really helpful when you're reading and studying the Bible. So that's one of the reasons why I turn to the NASB when I'm really diving deep because of the features they have as they're setting things up. Your abbreviations, and then you get into the Old Testament. So as with many um, uh, thin line Bibles, it's a pretty standard uh, format here. You get a two column text. It is verse by verse, as with a lot of NASB Bibles. Verse by verse, you get textual footnotes down here on the bottom right side of the page. A lot of people ask if there's a full set of notes and then some don't have. I can't imagine that this as a streamlined Bible has the full set of notes, but to be honest with you, I've never really figured out how to know for sure. So if you know that, please leave a comment and let me know. But you see there's just some textual notes here. If they have them on, on both pages, this can't be the set, but if they have them on both pages, it's at the bottom right corner of each page. So what you get with this Bible, the, the, the thin line is a nine point font, two column text. If you go to the large print, you're gonna get a 10 and a half point font. Now, they didn't give any information on their website about the GSM of this paper, but as you can see, it's, you're not really worried about ghosting on the other side of the page. It's pretty clean and easy to read. I love the comfort print font. Um, if you don't know what that means, basically all of the different Zondervan and Thomas Nelson Bibles have a custom typeface designed by 2K Denmark, and the NASB is, is one of my favorites. It's very sharp, very easy to read, very comfortable. It just flows really well. So verse by verse format on this one, you see you get a page number at the top with where you're located. Very, very simple, very clean, nine point font. Um, when you get through here to um, poetic sections, you do see they go to more of a poetic type setting. So it's all still verse by verse, but they have those indentions and things like that. So it really reads like poetry. Overall, it's just a very streamlined, simple. If you want a, a copy of the 2020 to have with you, to read on the go, to have something really small and easy to carry with you, that sort of thing. This is a great, a great version of that Bible. Um, so then we get into the New Testament, and this is, here we go, a red letter text. So there you see that. Let's just kind of give a, a closer look there. You see the contrast on that a little bit. It looks pretty sharp. It looks very clean. I like the black verse numbers with the red text. It makes it really easy to find your place. I think that's really sharp. Overall, it, it really reads well. It looks good. Again, there's not a lot to talk about here. It's just a pretty simple. So here's a, an example of, in the New Testament, you get small caps where they are doing a direct quote. Sometimes it's really obvious, just as it is written. That's pretty obvious that they're getting ready to quote the Old Testament. Other times it comes in the middle of sentences and things like that, and it's nice to have that. So you go, oh, they're pointing us back to the Old Testament. That happens a lot with Paul and Romans, actually, and it's nice to, to be able to go reference those places. So if you see those caps, um, this Bible does not have cross-references. Oftentimes you can see those caps, find the cross-references, and kind of go on a hunt. So really simple, really clean. At the end of the Bible, um, you get a few different little uh, fun tables and things like that. So let me if I see if I can get into this. You get the miracles of Jesus, you get the parables of Jesus, 
perspectives from the Bible. So this is what to read when um, you're seeking God's direction. You feel like you need comfort, that sort of thing. Very friendly, very good Bible to give to someone who may be new to the Bible or a new Christian, and you want to give them something they can uh, find the prayers of the Bible or places to go, promises of the Bible. Really great. Get some blank paper. So you don't get maps or a concordance or anything like that. This is a note regarding that comfort print typeface. So again, very streamlined. It's a thin line Bible. It's got everything from the, the NASB 2020, um, and, it's, and it's ready to roll when you're ready to go. So there you have it. That's a closer look at the NASB 2020 thin line from Zondervan. I would love to know what you think about this. So leave me a comment and let me know. Definitely check out the description of this video if you want to see where you can purchase one of these or more of those videos that I talked about from some other folks who compared the 2020 NASB to the older iterations of the New American Standard Bible. You can visit BibleReviewBlog.com to find more photos of this Bible and also those links to where you can purchase one. And definitely check out Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook. We have an awesome community out there that's growing and chatting about the Bible, which I always love. And while you're here on YouTube, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I've got more great videos coming out this week and some really fun ones planned for the near future. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.